What's going on guys, Adrian here, and today we're going to be doing the best character in the game, Sage Madara, full on guide, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the ninja tools. He has the best item set in the game, two paper bombs, two defense down tags, and two attack pills. Obviously, these, uh, these can be used to make your combos do a lot more damage. So, he has the best item set in the game, and then now we'll be talking about his jutsu. His jutsu blocks pretty much everything in the game, so, I'm a, but there's some jutsus that'll like, it, it'll clash with it, but nothing will really nothing will go through it. Um, but I'll show you guys All right. I'm gonna do my black pool and then look I'm gonna get Naruto to do a jutsu and No matter how many times it'll it'll not break so it only works with a few jutsu um, What I mean by that is the only jutsu to go through it is the fireball the inferno style uh, flame control um, I'll just drop I'll just drop it in the description, but those are just some examples of things that will clash with it Like nothing will go through it like I said, but some things will clash with it So yeah, and then now we're gonna talk about his tilt His tilt is really good. Um, it teleports across the whole map. So Just like that and in order to make it faster Like if you want to get that first hit faster because look this that animation is a little bit slow You just want to chalk it as like Like just like that and then that'll make it quicker but also I'm going to show you guys that you can um, Jutsu buffer with it and you can uh, combo switch with it while you're still across the map. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. So as you guys can see, you can Jutsu buffer with it across map. And then if you're close enough, you can uh, do just a Jutsu buffer like this. I mean, not, not if you're close enough. If you do it fast enough, then you'll do it from cross map. But if you do it slow enough, then you'll do it just like right there so you can also you know obviously do your um combo switch to throw somebody off guard and also the tilt will stay if you switch your characters so look just like that and then if you want to do it the fast way like whenever you come out you can do just like that and then get right into your combo so this tilt is really good and there's a lot of things you can do with it um and you're definitely going to be wanting you're definitely going to want to use it a lot but uh now we'll be talking about his grab his grab is a little bit weird like like E mentioned in his guide, uh, it has deceptive range. So look, it'll, it'll say that the grab is hitting them. See? But like, you need to take that extra one step for it to hit them. You see? So, look. But it does have like decent range on it. Um, just deceptive. So be careful because if you do it like far, the, like far enough where it doesn't hit them. Um, you know, it'll say that it'll hit them, but it actually won't so just be be careful of that and then right here i would say is about the range a little bit farther but it's really good for a uh, grab grab buffers also and i like to use it like this you know get right into your combo do your shuriken just like that it's really good for grab buffers and really good to throw people off guard so yeah his grab is overall pretty good um it's just the fact that it has deceptive range but it is really good for you know grab buffers and it's definitely grab you're gonna wanna it's definitely grab you're gonna wanna use for grab buffers uh but now we'll be talking about his infinite combo or stun lock so let me just restart the match real quick get him out the corner all right so wow Bruh. there we go Alright, so if you guys see that in the down combo right here, you just need to jump out the animation. Like, look, right there, but you want to do one more hit, like, and animate it. So, just like that. That's how long the stun really is. And then you can do this if you want to. To maximize the damage, you just got to be quick enough. So, I'll go and show you guys that that is possible. And then that's also his S3 cancel. So, and then if you're fast enough, you can do attack pill into the um. If you're fast enough, you can do the attack pill into the ultimate. But I like to just do regular ultimate because you got to be kind of quick for that. So, yeah, this is his stun lock, guys. Very easy. You can also do this. He can really do whatever, you can do guard break pill or whatever, but his stun lock is really easy. And now I'll be talking about his up combo stun lock. Now his up combo stun lock, 
A lot of people don't know about this one. Um, but it is a S3 cancel, it's a stun lock. So let me go and show you. Bro, I can't get this man out the corner. Alright, so there's no uh, animating any hits. You just want to chocolate dash after a certain point. So, just like that. That's his up combo stun lock. Um, if, you do, if you do it quick enough, then it, they'll be closer to the ground and you'll get a longer stun. But you want to make sure that like little wheel thing, like the sphere, hits them. So, you can't animate the hit. But, I'll show you guys that... See, look. If you animate the hit, it doesn't work. But, I'm going to show you guys that you can do this. You can do that. And then... See, look. I, I messed up that time. But, look. I'll still be able to get ultimate off of it. It doesn't matter. But you, you're gonna want to do it fast enough where they're closer to the ground. Like that's the longer stun. It's basically I think it's longer than the the down combo, actually. But it's very it's very nice. I guess it's just a little stylish thing if you don't want to do the down combo one. So it's you know I like it. It's just a little stylish thing. I'll show you guys one more time. That shock of dash. So you can do whatever. See I. I, I messed it up so the stun wasn't that long right there, but usually the stun will be, um, you know, as long as the down combo one. So this is going to be something you're going to want to use also. A lot of people don't know about it, so I just decided to show it. Shout out to Pain, my, uh, my mentor, for showing me that. Now we'll go on to his guard pressure and his instant guard break. So now on to his guard pressure. So he has only three hits on his guard. So you want to do his guard pressure like that. Just dash, switch. Um, anywhere between the last hit, you know, just want to do it fast enough where you can get up close and uh, get right into the combo. And he also has an instant guard break, chakra kunai, chakra dash off of two hits, but if you do it fast enough, then it'll break on guard. I mean, not break on guard, it'll break on the kunai, and the kunai will break the guard. So yeah, that's his instant guard break and his guard pressure, now move on to both of his air resets, so yeah. So for his first air reset, you just want to delay the hits and then switch out on the last hit. Um, and then you can get right to the combo. You can also do an ultimate if you're really fast. So, just like that, you can get right into the ultimate. You just gotta be really quick, but that's his first air reset. Um, his second one is similar, but now we'll move on to his second one. So you just wanna chakra dash after you animate the last hit. And then you can get into your juggle or, you know, do whatever. So yeah, those are both of his air resets. They're very easy and they're very useful. So you're gonna wanna use these a lot. And now we'll move on to his um, extended stun. So his extended stun is in his up combo. Um, it's right, one hit after that, just right there. Then you can do a combo, you can do a UJ, attack pill, doesn't matter, but I'll show you. UJ, oh, and then you can also do a grab into the stuck midair glitch, so since he's a strike back. And then just like that, he goes right into the air. <laughs> it will be froze there all game. So yeah, stuck midair glitch, that's his extended stun. And now I'll be talking about his mash and his ninja movement. So his mash is crazy, it'll like knock people out of dashes sometimes and he has really crazy hit priority. And his ninja movements are really nice. He has crazy movement and he's super quick. So he has some of the best movement in the game. Um, I th obviously, I think Kakazu has the best movement in the game. But this modder right here, he's very crazy when it comes to his movement and his mash. So that's another cool thing about him. His mash is crazy. Keep that in mind. And then he's really quick and has really nice movement. So yeah, he's very good for fundamentals. Like Just the fundamentals of him are still really nice. And now they're going on to his max damage combo with Karin, so yeah. So here is Madara's max damage combo. I'm gonna waste the subs to show you guys what's legit. And then it should one shot them if I did it correctly. Um, if I pulled Karin out too slow, then you'll see they'll basically be at complete death, but. Look how much damage it does from, yeah, I, I put out Karin too slow and the poison will still kill him over time anyways. So, I mean, they'll be, they'll be at one tap regardless. See, look. 
so yeah keep that in mind uh you just want to pull Karina out a little bit faster than i did but it's a one shot combo as you guys just seen you just need sage madara uh Karine. you want the defense down tag the attack uphill and that's basically how you do it very simple and very easy max damage combo just make sure to tom Karin whenever she comes out and now we're moving on to his awakening so there's actually one thing i want to talk about before we move on to his awakening so his ult switch um it'll look like it hits them like the ultimate is about to hit them but in reality like it, it doesn't like it won't transfer to the ultimate like it will with five kage sasuke so and then you convert off of it but when they're in awakening is different so let me put the thing to awakening and then you'll see that let me activate my other controller all right now watch what happens when i do the old switch with madara It will go right into the ultimate and it's different when somebody's in awakening so just keep that in mind a lot of people don't know about that either so that's just one thing i want to throw out before i move on to his awakening but without further ado let's get on to his awakening the best in the game so first thing of his awakening his uh, awakening actions come back faster than everybody else's so keep that in mind uh like it'll come back as soon as the awakening um action ends so that's pretty nice already but then you have his instant guard break off of his right shuriken action by just canceling out with a chakra dash so you can literally do this every time and then get right into the combo and then they want to block so it, it's very broken in my opinion and that's another reason why his awakening is very broken but now on to something that just makes his awakening even more broke like even more broken so he has an infinite combo just like that just want to cancel it out to share a connection that you can keep going right into the combo um and i'll show you guys the guard is set to one on so that is a legit combo so a share connection is the main thing you're going to want to be using in my opinion these are nice too um when the closer you are the faster they are and the farther away you are the slower they are so Make sure just to use the shuriken action the most. You know, you can do the instant guard break or do whatever you want. Oh, I messed it up. But yeah, you can do the instant guard break or whatever you want. And yeah, guys. So now the only other thing to show you of his awakening is this right here. If you jump, you can get right back into the combo. Um, uh, they can rebound out of it like if you do it too slow so just make sure to do it fast enough and time it and then you can do your um little combo reset right there kind of an infinite combo uh i don't really know how to explain it but he also has an air reset in his awakening so just like that you guys seeing you just need a chakra dash and then you can get right to whatever you want to do right there so yeah guys that's going to cover the sage of six pass moderate guide oh wait Wow, I forgot to mention this. <laughs> the glitch where it'll keep the clones on the match the whole game. You just want to combo switch, switch back, and then the clones will stay there throughout the whole game. And if you do it, you know, um, if you do it a lot of times, it'll crash the game. But the clones, all these clones will stay there throughout the whole awakening. And this awakening is very broken for the infinite awakening glitch also. But anyways, that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked. If you like, leave a sub, leave a like. Peace.